Two Suncoast moms traveled to Washington, D.C. with Congressman Vern Buchanan to meet with the FDA and DEA officials. Ruth Liverly and Cindy Harney both lost a son or daughter to drugs in one way or another, and because of that, they've worked tirelessly for years to try to limit prescription drug abuse. That includes an effort to get the Pill Milk Crackdown Act passed with the help of Congressman Buchanan. We did go to Congressman Buchanan about a year and a half ago with our concerns of this epidemic in our area of prescription drugs, the youth that were losing their lives, the older people that are becoming addicted to these opioids and you know here we are today uh, you know less than a year and a half later and hopefully we see this bill passed. Just coming up here um, and being in support of Congressman Buchanan's uh, pill mill bill has been more than these last seven years have, are not in vain um, and maybe someone else won't have to die. Um, it doesn't bring our boys back, but again, maybe it will save someone else's. I think we're losing uh, 13 kids a day in Florida because of pre prescription drug abuse, and uh, their leadership has made a difference. I think we've uh, gone a long way in the last year, last couple of years, in terms of uh, cutting down a lot of the pill mills. There's 1,300 in Florida. Someone said there was more McDonald's than pill mills. Florida's painkiller epidemic became a national story a few years ago. To counter the problem, lawmakers passed a prescription pill database aimed at exposing doctor shoppers and pill mills. In 2010, 1,500 people died from oxycodone across the state of Florida.